Welcome back folks, it is Jay Furry and today we're going to take a look at the Superlight. We've already reviewed it, we've already looked at a really awesome charging dock for it as well, but there's even more we can do with this mouse and that's going to be adding proper grips and even better feet to it. So let's jump right in. Alright folks, so what you have in front of you is going to be all you need to really make basic improvements on your Superlight. And while it is a $150 mouse, you might feel that there shouldn't be a warrant for any upgrades. The fun thing about this hobby is that we can always kind of play around with different accessories and modifications to really suit our preferences. So today we have core pads, and that's going to be uh, the full set of feet for the Superlight, as well as BTL grip tape. Now, this is actually grip tape I did not touch on on my previous video regarding grip tape. So this is my first experience with it. I've heard nothing but great things with BTL. And all of this is available through lethalgaminggear.com. And I'll leave a link in the description below for all of it. And if you do check out at lethalgaminggear.com and you use code JAFER, you will receive 10% off your total purchase, which is just awesome. So it adds even more value to already affordable modifications all right, grab a sharp or precision set of tweezers or a flathead screwdriver, and you're gonna go ahead and pry the stock feet off. Logitech does have two layers to their stock feet, so make sure you peel off that foam layer. It does look like the plastic surface, so make sure you pay attention and peel that off before you go to clean this and set your next set up. Once you do that, you're gonna move on to the other ones. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Now the next one's gonna be the sensor. The sensor you want to be extra careful with because that's more of a sensitive area. You're going to grab your denatured alcohol or wipes, clean off the surface, and since we're adding grips, we're going to go ahead and clean all the areas where the grip tape is going to be applied as well. Now after we've let that sit for about a minute to dry, we're going to go ahead and apply. Uh, this is very, very easy. You're just going to piece together everything that you took off. You're just going to reapply it with the new core pad skates. And just make sure that you do wash your hands prior to installing to prevent any gunk buildup. And then you're going to do the same thing to the sensor. Make sure that is completely flat if you don't want any weird angles coming off of an uneven set of feet. With the grip tape, just line it up from the pre-cuts to the actual line work of the mouse itself. Super self-explanatory. Again, be patient and make sure your hands are clean as you're installing these grip tapes. And then for the sides, uh, this one's a little more tricky since there's side buttons involved, uh, but you can peel it off and reapply without it damaging or impacting the adhesive side of the grip tape. So just be very patient as you're applying this all around. There's a few things that I did not install with this and that's gonna be the back palm grip. It's kind of annoying on my palm, so I didn't want to install that. And you can add the grip tape that's pre-cut for the side buttons. But in my experience, those tend to fall off pretty easily over time. So I just don't even bother with those at all. And then the last thing, if you notice, I didn't have the puck to my super light. I have no idea where it's at because I don't use it. But uh, the core pad does come with an extra set. So that's it, folks. These are just two simple modifications you can make to your super light to maybe fit align more with your comfort level and maybe give a little bit better of a glide with some third party feet. Now, if you wanna really go into customizing the super light, it would be something like this, which is going to be some micro switches from Cal. These are the 8.0. These are the ones that are gonna be in the new XM1R by Endgame, and I'll have a review on that later on. Uh, but these are also extremely popular switches that I believe uh, only makes the super light even better and there is a guy that does do that for you if you're not into soldering yourself and that's going to be ENTS and I'll leave a link in the description below to his website and Twitter if you want to get in contact with him if you want to modify your super light even further. But other than that, I'm Jay Fur. That's going to be it for me. I appreciate you watching the video. Until next time, you stay safe.